water signs Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see uh, what are your person's messages to you right now. So I want you to take a moment and think of your person and we'll see what's on their mind right now. So is there something that they want to share with you? Is there something that they want uh, you know, to be able to connect with you? Uh, we'll go ahead and see exactly what are their messages to you at this particular point in time. So take a moment, think of your person, and we'll see what messages are trying to reach you. It is going to be a general reading, guys. If you're after your personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Oh, wow. Okay, you've got a lot of color, um, a lot of yellow, right? The color symbolism for yellow is, um, you know, it's there's a lot of warmth in the energies here. This is happiness, and I feel like this person that you're thinking about, this person that you're romantically connected to, is definitely feeling very good about... Um, they feel very good about maybe wanting to get to know you, maybe wanting to grow a little bit more intimate with you, maybe wanting to build more of a connection with you. But whenever they do see you, whenever they do think of you, this puts them in a happy place, okay? So the person that's on your mind right now, I do see that this is someone who feels like they either feel very strongly connected with you or they feel like they sh they want to connect with you. Now, for a lot of you, this is someone who I feel like is romantically interested in you. You've got the Ace of Wands energy and this is the two of you definitely have a spark or you have a chemistry and they're definitely picking up on that. And I think you've definitely picked up on that too. I feel like when you've met this individual, whoever this is, this is someone whom, you know what they felt the first time they met you? It's almost like this charge of electricity it's almost like this electricity just sort of you know surged through their body it's like you've jolted them okay you've inspired some very new some very exciting feelings in them um, maybe they've never really felt this way about a person before maybe they haven't felt this type of way about someone in a very very long time maybe these feelings are all very new and foreign to them let me tell you it could potentially be love at first sight or even lust at first sight okay this is someone who is very infatuated with you okay this is someone who i feel like is very attracted to you and there is definitely spa, a spark or even several. There's definitely chemistry. I feel like this is someone who wants to get to know you. So this does feel like it's a little bit, it's new. It feels fresh. It feels like this is someone who wants to build a connection with you. This is someone who's invested in what they feel for you. And this is someone who's invested in getting to know you and, you know, building more of a connection. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is more of a stable energy. Okay. Maybe more of an earthly energy. Could be an earth sign or, you know, they're more like practical, stable in nature, a lot of like consistent energy, okay, with this person's, um, with their emotions and what they say and what they do as well. Nine and ten are significant numbers here, okay, and I don't know if there may be some contact or communication that might come in nine to ten days from this reading, nine to ten weeks, or there may be something that might potentially transpire between you and this individual um, nine to ten months from now. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as nine to ten months, but just remember that, you know, the suit of pentacles and the suit of cups is more of a slow burning energy. OK, so whilst there's this initial um, attraction, this instant attraction, this instant connection that you felt with this person and that they certainly feel with you, I do think that this is going to be more of a slow burning connection. Um, I don't know why, actually, I feel like it could be for several reasons. It could be that this person is uh, someone who doesn't just jump into relationships, someone who, I do get a sense that this is someone who wants more of a traditional type of a relationship, okay, so they want to, you know, um, so it's more traditional, so they want to date, they want to get to know you, they want to take you out, all of those things, rather than have, you know, rather than casually date or keep things uh, casual. This is someone who I feel like definitely wants to invest their time 
and in doing so this is why i feel like this person wants to get to know you so you know they're going to want to take their time they don't want to rush through the process they believe that the journey is just as important as the destination the other thing is this could be someone that you know in a professional environment okay so there's obviously some you know some boundaries um, that they don't necessarily want to overstep so they're approaching this with professionalism and they're approaching this relationship or this connection um, with respect so that, that could be the other reason why it's more of a slow burning connection okay that's not to say that you know they don't want to hurry up and get to know you and hurry up and you know um, love you it's just that this person knows that there's just I don't know it's just the energies there's just something about this that it feels like it's taking its time again instant connection instant attraction but it is going to take a bit of a long time to develop um, out its external influences it's not because it's your choice or their choice I feel like it has to do something with the atmosphere or the environment in which the two of you find yourselves in so could be your boss could be a colleague um, could be a client I don't know or or it could be someone who doesn't have strangely enough maybe this person doesn't have like easy reach to you so they find it a little bit hard to access or you know you're finding it a little bit hard to access them um, they definitely find you very attractive okay so this is someone who feels like you're very physically attractive but there's also something about maybe it's the your mannerisms the way that you carry yourself your personality there's definitely something that has got their attention okay so this person is definitely interested they like what they see they've obviously spoken to you um, they like your personality they like your demeanor they like the way you carry yourself this is someone who's definitely attracted to you and you know it feels like they want more okay this is why it feels new again it just feels like this person wants to get to know you a whole lot more nine of cups you are everything that they could ever want okay you have so many traits like so many um Adm like admirable um, traits and qualities and characteristics that they've always wanted in a partner okay uh, maybe you're just their type okay um, maybe you know they value like humor they value someone with a sense of humor or with intellect and this is you know something you've definitely you might have so tick tick I don't know it just feels like you check off a lot of their boxes okay and it just feels like they've there's something about waiting as well with this person so I don't know if this person is kind of waiting for you to make a move or I don't know if this person has been waiting for someone just like you or they've been waiting for something exactly like this or just like this but I do get this strong energy of them waiting them waiting to get to know you them waiting to pursue this with you them waiting to make a move or them waiting to maybe reach out um, or for you to respond it just feels like there's this waiting this person does have a message for you but I don't think that they are able to deliver this message just yet uh, this person is definitely attracted to you and I feel like there's a lot of flirty energy in the reading so um, I think that maybe not necessarily verbally maybe they haven't outright said it but I think that there's been other ways that they've been trying to communicate their attraction to you so by you know smiling winking um, or just really really um, you know them being really nice them being extra helpful and extra courteous towards you and it just feels like and again that's part of them you know they're trying to um, keep things professional they're trying to um, be respectful but at the same time they can't help that attraction it's definitely you know manifesting itself in other ways so their body has definitely been communicating um, you know communicating messages to you and I see that this is someone and even their body language like you can tell that it's speaking directly to you they may stand very close to you their eyes may be con you know constantly just uh, fixated on you their stare may linger for a little bit far too long um, nothing creepy nothing uncomfortable um, but it's definitely something that I feel like you're receptive to this person does have a message for you but I don't see them coming in with the message just yet and because they're holding off on um, communicating this message to you, they're holding off on telling you how they feel, or they're holding off on telling you that you know they really like you, they're into you, and they want to pursue this. I think you're probably misinterpreting that as them not being interested, or you're probably misinterpreting um, this as you know 
maybe you feel like you, you know this is imagined and you're making it up in your head it's not let me tell you this is someone who uh, definitely is attracted to you they're definitely drawn to you they're very drawn to your energy but i think it's the same with you i think you're responding i feel like you're very receptive so uh, you know don't go down that rabbit hole of you thinking that you're deluding yourself or you thinking that it's not real or it's all, all imagined because you guys are water signs you're a creative bunch right so sometimes your imagination can get away from you but let me tell you this is this is something that's definitely real and it's something that you feel and they feel and even though it's the you know it's still early days it's the start of it all i can see that it is the start of something wonderful it is the start of something beautiful um and i do think that you know this person just you make them feel good whenever they see you they're all really smiley they like talking about you um they also like seeing you they like hearing from you so this is someone who you know who definitely feels very good about they also feel very good about themselves when they're with you or they feel you make them feel really good about themselves as well you know you make them want to to do better and to be better so be like a healthier happier version of them uh, if this is someone whom you have disconnected with okay if this is someone who is not necessarily a new energy if it is a past energy there's a chance that it could be then this is someone who's you know i feel like there's this renewed sense of energy to them so they could potentially be coming back as a renewed energy so someone new a past person but they're coming back as a like a former flame coming back as you know a, a new flame a new person um, and i definitely feel like that the four of wands could be the indication of, of a very very happy reunion Otherwise, the Four of Wands could strongly be indicating that this is someone that, you know, this could, this connection could very much eventuate into a relationship and could result in a, uh, a very traditional type of a relationship. So, you know, there's something long term, something very uh, consistent, very stable and something that will go the distance and perhaps might even result in engagement or a wedding or a marriage for some of you. Because this spark, that attraction, you know, the sparks that... Um, a f that flew when you first met those little sparks are going to ignite and will ignite into this massive fire so yeah that's that all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye